Hi, I'm Brian with the Dayton Society of Natural History. I'm here in our science theater, sponsored by Dayton Power and Light, and today we're going to use the concepts of density and chemical reactions to make our own lava lamps. What is density? Density is the amount of mass per unit of volume. As an example, I have a couple of beakers down here, one of which contains water and one of which contains honey. Now, if we weigh our beaker of water and then weigh our beaker that has honey in it, you'll notice that the honey weighs a little bit more even though there's the same amount of liquid in both containers. This kind of relates back to our lava lamps. When the lava lamps are turned off, there's hard wax resting at the bottom of the lamp. But when the lamp is activated, there's a heating element in the base that causes the wax to melt and become less dense. It then floats to the top of our lamp where it cools down and floats back to the bottom. That's where the process starts all over again when the wax is reheated. So we've talked about density, but what about chemical reactions? A chemical reaction is what happens when two different substances come into contact with each other to form something new that cannot be returned to either of its original forms. As an example, I have a rusty nail down here. What happens is oxygen comes into contact with the iron in the nail, and that causes it to oxidize or rust. Or an example that you might have seen at home is baking a cookie. Once you combine your flour, eggs, and sugar and bake it, it can't return to those original elements. So for this experiment, you'll need a few things that you should be able to find around your house. You'll need a clear plastic container of some sort. In this case, we have a cup, or you're welcome to use a jar. You'll need some water, some vegetable oil. For a more spectacular reaction, you can add food coloring. And you'll need an antacid tablet. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour our water in. And next, we're going to add our oil. Now here is where you see the concept of density applied. You'll notice some bubbling. That is actually our oil beginning to rest on the top layer of our water because the oil is less dense, so it floats. Here you're gonna add your food coloring, and you may notice that it doesn't immediately sink to the bottom of your container, and that's because our food coloring is water soluble, not oil soluble. So it begins to fall, it'll eventually get through that oil layer into the water, and you'll have dyed water at that point. The next thing we're going to do is add our antacid tablet, And you'll notice that it begins to bubble. Now this is because there are two different chemicals inside of the tablet, and when they interact with the water, they release those gases. So those gases are coming to the surface, and that's the bubbling you see. So how did your experiment turn out? Maybe it looks a little bit different than mine, and that's okay. In science, we just learn things that we weren't expecting to find out. So I want you to make this experiment your own. What happens if you add more water or less water? More oil, less oil, hot water, cold water? Or maybe you want to use two tablets. Let us know in the comments how your experiment went. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ping that notification bell so you know whenever we post. I will see you in the next video.